Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Samar Fanuna Qabi Darvis, and I'm reading this book, The Ideal Muslimah. Link to the PDF version in the description box, inshallah. So, this section regarding the son in law and the mother in law is um, entitled She is Fair and is Never Biased in Favor of Her Daughter. So, it's important to be fair, and there's an ayah here. It says, um, whenever you speak, speak justly, even if a near relative is concerned. And that's in Surah 6, Ayah 152, subhanAllah. So we need to think about this because fairness is part of Islam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not support the oppressors. Rather, he supports those who are being oppressed. And the dua of the one who is oppressed is never rejected. So we need to be unbiased when it comes to the treatment of um, you know, between the treatment of spouses, whether it's our son-in-law or our daughter, you know, if our daughters are being unfair to our son-in-laws, we have to point that out to them. We can't just accept that behavior because, oh, well, this is our daughter, so I'm going to be loyal to her. No, it doesn't work like that. And the same goes with your son as well. If it's your son who is mistreating his spouse, his wife, then you can't be biased towards your son and leave them because, oh, it's my son and this is where my loyalty is. No, this is not part of Islam. In Islam, we have to be fair. Okay, we have to be fair, and that it includes even if it goes against our own blood ties. Okay, this is about justice, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He's going to ask us on the day of judgment regarding how we treated other people. Yes, we have sons and our daughters, but we also have obligation to our brothers and sisters in the deen. And remember, our son in law and our daughter in law, apart from the fact that we should be welcoming them into our families and treating them like they are our own daughter and our own son we should also remember that they are our brothers and sisters in the deen so we have to respect them as such at the least if nothing else subhanallah to remember that the husband is qawama he has the qawama over the wife which is your daughter so when it comes to um, respecting him this is important as much as possible to remind your daughter to have the respect for her husband and to submit to him in the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has um, you know commanded so you know, like we mentioned in the previous section she should be encouraging her daughter to be the best wife as possible as much as possible and not be biased when it comes to the interaction between the spouses so don't look for the faults of your son-in-law while neglecting the faults of your daughter and at the same time don't be looking specifically for the faults of your daughter while, reject, while um, neglecting the faults of your son-in-law but just don't be biased that's important to have that balance and to keep that balance between the two but it's better to err on the side of caution and at least make your make sure that your daughter is doing the best that she can to up, up, fulfill her duties and responsibilities because it's in her benefit to make sure that you know when it, she stands before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on their judgment that that she is free from falling short of her responsibilities as a wife inshallah alhamdulillah for everything jazakallah khair for listening anything that i've said which is correct is from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and anything that i've said which is incorrect is from myself and allah knows best wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh